Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be running some benchmarks on Safari running on a Mac Mini with an M1 processor. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the computer I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I do want to specify that the computer I'm using has 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of hard drive. And the one I'm sharing on Amazon is the base model. I think you have to go through Apple to have it configured. I don't think those are available on Amazon. So I did some previous videos where I benchmarked Firefox and Chrome. And I compared the previous versions of the software that were optimized for Intel and would run on this newer computer under Rosetta versus the newer versions that run under Apple Silicon. So in this video, I'm going to run those same benchmarks in Safari, and then I'll compare them to Chrome and Firefox, and we'll see which one is the fastest at these benchmarks. So the benchmarks I used were at Browser Bench. I'll make this full screen. The first one I'll run is Jetstream. I'll start the test. And I'm going to be speeding up these tests here, and then at the end I'll analyze all the numbers. Okay, for Jetstream 2, we got 190.120. Now run Motion Mark. Okay, we got 1,728.2. Finally, we'll run speedometer. Okay, we got 221. I'll compile these results into a table with the results from my Chrome and Firefox tests, and we'll take a look at them. If you want to see those videos, I'll put a link in the description of my Mac playlist, and you can find those videos there. Okay, so I have the results here, and these are the results from the browsers all using Apple Silicon native code. So for Jetstream, Safari got 190, Chrome got 162, and Firefox got 112. So Safari is the fastest here, and Chrome is in between Firefox and Safari on performance. For Motion Mark, Safari got 1700, Chrome got 712, and Firefox got 422. In this test, Safari is quite a bit faster than Chrome and it's way faster than Firefox. I mean, that's a huge difference there. For Speedometer, Safari got 221, Chrome got 207, and Firefox got 204. So Chrome and Firefox scores are about the same, and Safari is a little bit faster on the Speedometer test, but it's not as big of a spread as it is on Jetstream or Motion Mark. So Safari was the fastest at these three benchmarks, but I personally use all three of these browsers browsers for different things, and I don't really have any specific performance issues, but there are times it's nice to have extra speed. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.